In this video, you'll learn about the architecture behind Adobe Experience Platform and also the ecosystem surrounding Adobe Experience Platform in an enterprise context. Every brand collects data across multiple sources. In this whiteboard, we'll focus on the following sources, web, mobile, POS, and call center. Each of these sources collects behavioral data of both known and unknown customers and uses different identifiers to identify a customer. As experiences are extremely time sensitive, it's critical that all of that data is collected as soon as possible. All data that is sent into Adobe Experience Platform is collected through our distributed edge network of servers. These servers are located in data centers across the world and ensure that data is collected as close as possible to the customer. Once the edge has collected that data initially, it forwards that data into our Adobe pipeline. Pipeline is built using Apache Kafka and provides a real-time streaming environment that collects data just once and allows it to be consumed by multiple other services. One of those services is Adobe Experience Platform, which consists of two major components. The real-time customer profile that is running on an Azure Cosmos DB infrastructure and the data lake that is using Azure Data Lake Storage. So all that data is collected from the various sources, is sent in real-time into the edge, from there into pipeline, and from there into the real-time customer profile. And then eventually it gets stored in the data lake into data sets. Given that every data source has its own way of describing data, there's a need to model that data into a common data model before it's stored in the data set. That common data model is called the experience data model or XDM and provides brands with a single language to describe data once to then reuse it in a consistent way throughout the ecosystem. Everything that happens within Adobe Experience Platform, from reporting and insights over machine learning to activation, all uses XDM as its backbone. Once data is available in the real-time customer profile, it's meant to be used for activation and to deliver exceptional experiences. There are three main ways of taking action on the available data in the real-time customer profile. Profile lookups through the API, segment-based activation or trigger-based for one-to-one -one, always on communication. Profile lookups through the API support use cases whereby environments like call centers look up all profile attributes and all up to the last millisecond behavioral data of a customer so that the experience in the call center can be personalized. The segment-based way supports use cases whereby, for instance, other Adobe Experience Cloud applications are used to deliver an experience. Examples include Adobe Target, which uses segments to deliver personalized experiences on the website or in a mobile application, and Audience Manager, which can be used to deliver that segment into social, search, and display destinations. With the real-time CDP application service, segment qualifications can be sent towards DSPs like Google TV360 and the Plexus, ESP destinations, Facebook people-based destinations, and also to streaming destinations like AWS Kinesis and Azure Events Hub in real time. Finally, with the Journey Orchestration Application Service, brands can create trigger-based journeys. These journeys will activate in real time if and when a customer acts in a specific way. Events that trigger these journeys include things like product views, add to cart events, purchases, account creation, segment qualification, sign up for a newsletter, and much, much more. Every journey is defined as a sequence with potential wait times and the ability to query the real-time customer profile in Adobe Experience Platform at any point of the journey. And besides querying Adobe Experience Platform's real-time customer profile, it's also possible to query any external data source in real-time. As such, you can query external decisioning systems, real-time machine learning endpoints, external weather APIs, and also your in-store stock system. All of these external data sources will make contextual and timely information available to the journey that will help personalize the overall experience of your customer. In a journey, actions can be sent to just about any application in a brand's ecosystem that has an API. Of course, it's possible to take action by sending an email, push notification, or SMS to Adobe Campaign, but it's equally possible to define custom actions to external applications like Twilio, AWS, Microsoft, non-Adobe ESP solutions, non-Adobe DMPs, and much more. The only requirement for these solutions is that they need to have an API that journey orchestration can communicate with. Now that we've discussed the real-time activation mechanisms of Adobe Experience Platform, let's have a look at how Adobe Experience Platform fits in your enterprise ecosystem. Like many brands, your organization has probably also invested in your own data lake. Such a data lake is usually intended to store data for eternity, have an understanding of a customer's profile, and potentially apply machine learning to all that valuable data on a profile level. We call this environment your big brain, and the big brain is intended to be the core element of your organization's ecosystem. 
And while that data lake is a core location of your organization's data, the data lake wasn't really built to design and deliver experiences. Also, the data lake alone doesn't deliver a comprehensive and real-time view of your customer across all channels. That data lake is also unable to activate a customer's profile in real-time across all your tech stack, and it also can't orchestrate omnichannel experiences in real-time. Taking action in real-time across all channels in an orchestrated way isn't the role of the big brain. It's the role of the brain for communication and orchestration. And that brain for communication and orchestration is called Adobe Experience Platform. The big brain and the brain for communication and orchestration should work together in perfect harmony. So that means that those two environments should exchange data with each other as fast as possible. And to accommodate that, we support three main patterns. Brands can use ETL applications like Informatica to extract, transform, and load data from the data lake into Adobe Experience Platform. Another way of ingesting data in batch mode is by setting up source connectors in Adobe Experience Platform. Source connectors exist for a wide variety of applications, from S3, SFTP, over Oracle databases, to Microsoft Dynamics, Microsoft Event Hub, Google Cloud Storage, Google BigQuery, and many more. The third way of ingesting data into Adobe Experience Platform is by streaming it into Adobe's pipeline that is built on Apache Kafka. A source connector exists so that brands can connect their own Kafka cluster through Kafka Connect with Adobe's pipeline. And it's also possible to stream data directly into pipeline by sending it into an HTTP API endpoint. Streaming data into pipeline will make that data available to Adobe Experience Platform in real time. ETL integrations typically work in batch mode, and source connectors can both support real-time or batch, depending on the specific connector. With all that valuable omnichannel data now available in Adobe Experience Platform, it's not only available for activation use cases. Today, many brands are trying to get insights out of their data, but that proves to be difficult given that brands are using several applications that each have a different type of data available. To perform insightful analysis, brands need to have all data available in real time, in the same location, in the same language, which is exactly what Adobe Experience Platform offers. The data lake in Adobe Experience Platform provides brands with the query service. The query service is a gateway that enables brands to consume data from Adobe Experience Platform into solutions like Power BI, Tableau, Click, and any other application that supports Postgres. You can even use PSQL in a terminal window if that's what you prefer. Additionally, brands can now also use the Customer Journey Analytics application service to report on that data. Customer Journey Analytics is a service built on top of Adobe Experience Platform that lets you join all your data from every channel into a single interface for real-time cross-channel analysis and visualization, allowing you to make better decisions with a holistic view of your business and the context behind every customer action. The way these applications interact with platform is by using standard SQL queries. Other components include things like Data Science Workspace, Offer Decisioning, and Intelligent Services. Data Science Workspace uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to unleash insights from your data. Data Science Workspace helps you make predictions using your content and data assets across Adobe solutions. And data scientists of all skill levels will find sophisticated, easy to use tools like JupyterLab that support rapid development, training, and tuning of machine learning recipes. All the benefits of AI technology without the complexity. And supported languages are Python, R, Spark, PySpark, and Scala. Offer decisioning lets brands formalize and centrally manage the rules and predictions used for engaging customers with offers. Offer decisioning is considered a type of content decisioning. Decision options are referred to as offers and are characterized as such by the content attached to them. The objective is to present the end user with a best offer in any channel based on targeting criteria, cost, and frequency constraints, as well as prior interactions across channels, including prior offers proposed. Intelligent services empower marketing analysts and practitioners to leverage the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning in customer experience use cases. This allows for marketing analysts to set up predictions specific to a company's needs using business-level configurations without the need for data science expertise. Data Science Workspace, Offer Decisioning, and Intelligent Services consume experience data of the real-time customer profile together with additional data that is stored in a data set in the data lake and write back their propensity scores, next best offers and predictions to the real-time customer profile from where they can be used for designing and delivering exceptional customer experiences. With that, you now have a great overview of the architecture of an Adobe Experience Platform implementation. 
In this video, you learned all the details about the building blocks of Adobe Experience Platform and how data runs through it. And you should now have a good understanding of the ecosystem that surrounds it with the big brain and the brain for communication and orchestration working together in perfect harmony. Thanks for watching.